This is the area in Harrison County where a new $23 million Y would be built, the Gulfport Highlands. $18 million would come from BP Restore Act money, but only if approved by the legislature. That's why the Y has enlisted the aid of community leaders and formed an advisory committee who gather twice a month to brainstorm ideas on how to sell the project to lawmakers. We're bringing in partners where one person tells five people, five people tells ten people, before long we're reaching 500. So that's the effort here is to make sure the community is aware of what this could be, the impact it can have, and then make sure we take that and spread it. Committee members take plenty of notes and then offer plenty of input, input that is both needed and wanted. It comes down to how they connect to the community, uh, their means of communication, who they know, and then uh, leveraging their expertise to be able to share this through the community. In the end, it's all about telling our story to the community. Committee members are sold on the project, knowing that a new Y could be an economic game changer that adds to the coast's quality of life. At United Way of South Mississippi, we are all about successful families and successful children, and I believe this Y could bring some programming to support families in our area. Besides 70 new jobs and a $2 million annual payroll, a new Y would offer so much more. I think the YMCA would be a great addition um, from a perspective of teaching kids how to swim, offering the water ability, offering great health for people, and just a meeting place to have great family activities. And it's not just committee members who need to be involved. It's everyone who calls the coast home. You don't get better in your community if you don't have community support. So to build a Y here would be great for our community. It would be an asset for the community. So the community has to support it to be able to grow and offer more things to entice people to move here and to stay here. So as we near the finish line of this two year long endeavor, everyone knows that the timing and more importantly, vocal support is needed now more than ever. Doug Walker reporting for your YMCA.